them. Get ready to see them. And this is one of those things where you're like, prepare to be sick of me. What's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an H&M slash cost with a Banana Republic item and a Yara item and it is a great haul. It's all about summer, spring, summer chic and I'm here for it. You guys are going to love these looks. Like it's everything. We've got a little bit of linen. We've got um, a lot of shirts, a lot of lightweight pieces. Um, jumpsuits oh and there's a wedding guest outfit that you guys are gonna die for so I'm um, very excited for this haul very excited to share these looks with you guys and the pieces that I picked up um, but before we jump into that if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome I'm Mani and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta and if you love fashion fashion and more fashion make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video in addition to fashion I do share a lot of home content I'm kind of obsessed with home decor as well as well as travel I do travel a lot um, as a content creator and I bring you guys along so if you like my vibe, make sure you subscribe. If you guys need style inspo in between the hauls and the Outfit of the Day series and all the fun content we have going on here on YouTube, make sure you follow me on Instagram for daily style inspo. I do, I'm either posting on Instagram or TikTok and I try to make sure I'm posting almost every day so there's tons of style inspo. Plus you guys get to follow along on my trips and all that fun stuff and you get to see what's going on. So it's Odd by Money on both platforms. That's TikTok and Instagram. So make sure you check me out. As well as my website, oddbymonica.com for tons of shopping links for beauty, home, fashion, tons of articles, all that good stuff. So check it out, have fun. Okay, we've gotten all of that out of the way. Now let's get into the video. It's so good. Oh yeah, and just ignore the bag. It's kind of like the outfit. And when you see the outfit, you'll know why the bag has to stay on. So you just have to keep on watching. But yes, let's get into the video. Okay, so look number one features these fabulous pieces from H&M. I actually got this suit, I think last year in beige. Um, and this year they brought it back in blue and it is everything. This is a linen blend. I'm obsessed. Um, you know, it is, it is inexpensive. I cannot remember the price off the top of my head, but I know it was definitely fairly priced. But with that too, being a linen blend, you know, the price point's a little lower. It is from their Conscious Collection, which I love. But I found that with the shorts that there was a little bit of pulling where the button where the button and the zipper meet so i'm not a fan of that also it could be that i tucked in the shirt so in addition to the fun suit we also share this beautiful linen shirt from cost um for those of you who don't know cost is actually a sister brand to h m it's kind of like your step up from h m and i'm here for cost i can wear Cost head to toe all day, every day. The price points are amazing. The quality, amazing. Um, the workmanship, the silhouettes, they're very minimal. And I kind of really like that. Um, so I'm here for it. So with this look, we start with this um, fabulous linen shirt from Cost. The shirt is really long, so I kind of tucked it in. And that could also be part of the reason why you have a little bit of the bunching at the zipper and the button. Um, but, you know, there's really no ways around it unless I let the shirt out. Or I could have also tucked the shirt into my bra, but I, I just, that wasn't the look I was going for. So we kind of tucked it in. Um, I kind of laid it flat and then did a little crossover because the fabric on this blue linen is so thin. Um, that you really kind of have to maneuver and you have to be very careful when you're tucking items into a shirt like this I mean into the shorts, but anywho in terms of size. I did a size six in the shirt I really wanted the shirt to be Oversized so when I wear it other than wearing it this way I want it to just be very billowy and baggy and that's why I went a uh, size bigger I normally do a size four, but I went a size up with the shirt so tuck this beautiful linen shirt into the Beautiful baby blue sh um, Bermuda shorts. Baby blue is a huge color. All the brands are carrying it. Bags, clothing. It's just the color to have. And I've discovered that it's extremely flattering on me. So I'm definitely investing more into this color this year. Um, I just love the whole set together. I think it looks absolutely stunning. It is totally a vibe. And I'm here for it. Um, I wanted to kind of complement the beige a little bit more and break up the blue. So I introduced my Bottega Jody. Um, pumps their mesh pumps with the look to kind of complement that beige and it does such a great job of doing that 
I just love the way everything looks together. In addition to that, I'm wearing my Fendi Logo sunglasses. I love them. They're fairly new and I'm obsessed. When I say I'm obsessed with these glasses, I'm completely 100% obsessed with them. Um, I'm also doing my Fendi Logo earrings. It's kind of like having a little bit of a Fendi moment and we're here for it. It's fun, it's fun, it's fun. So yes, in terms of a bag, I did my Bottega Jody just to also complement the beige. And then, you know, it, the, the outfit just comes together so well brown beige and blue just it just looks so good together i'm here for it i love this outfit i feel like there's a ton of different places you can wear a look like this to brunch lunch hanging out if you have a social event you name it you can wear this too i love the color combination love the outfit it's such a vibe on to the next <laughs> features this beautiful silk top from cost <laughs> I had to think about it I think I was thinking about it because I'm like is it 100% silk I have to double check that um, this is a synthetic fabric but it feels like silk it feels like butter it's absolutely stunning um, price on this uh, $135 but guys if you feel this and the way it fits the print the, this beautiful dark brown with the beige. I feel like it's worth every penny. I love it. Like, obsessed with it. Then, we have these pants from Banana Republic. I'm obsessed. Like, okay, so I'll just put you guys in on something. I have, I Banana Republic usually sends me stuff for free. Um, but every, I, I, I don't like to ask brands for stuff for some reason. Don't ask me why. But for the most part, when a new season hits, they'll send me line sheets. Um, and it's really selective, but I do have a contact. But when I saw these pants, I was just like, I'm not waiting for anybody to say yes, no, maybe so if they're gonna send me it. I'm like, I have to have them. So, oh, it was the color, it was the rise, it was just everything. So the pants come with its own belt. I'm not, I wasn't necessarily a fan of the belt, so I took the belt off and I just liked the clean silhouette. But the rise is so high. This is at least 13 inches high and I love that. Um, I just love a higher rise. I just feel like there's something about it that makes it timeless. I have pants that are literally almost 20 years old with a higher rise and I don't care when I bring them out. I bring them out and I just, I rock them. So there's just something about that even though I know we're beginning to see more of a lower rise trend continue to pop in, that's just not a thing for me. I'm for the higher rise. I just feel like it's a lot more chic. It's more elevated. It's just a lot more flattering to the female figure as well. So I'm here for it. Um, the pants, absolutely stunning. They almost have a paper bag feel on top. You've got your belt loops. You've got your pleats on the side, the slip pocket. The fabric is almost like a nylon, kind of like that. I can't remember the name of the fabric, that um, Prada, and they, they're reintroduced. They're doing it a lot more now, um, but it kind of mimics that nylon fabric that Prada does so well, but this is lighter weight, so it almost feels like it's a very lightweight taffeta almost, but not because taffeta is a little bit more crinky, crinkly. Um, but I don't know what this is. The fabric is amazing on it. It's just, it's stunning. I'm sure it's just another new man-made fabric, synthetic fabric that they just nailed. And guys, the pants come in yellow too. I was so tempted to buy them in yellow, but I was just like, you need to respect yourself. You have too many things that you're trying to get rid of. So I'm just like, okay, just the blue, just the blue. So I just did the blue for now. Maybe I'll do the yellow later on. But anywho, I love the, pa the fact that there's this back pocket, um, just one back, um, one back pocket um, flap which just looks great on the bum. It's nice and wide. The only thing um, I didn't like about the pants is the fact that it's not as long as I would like it to be. I like my pants super long. Um, the hem, there's a cuff at the hem of the pant, and it's um, just kind of, um, it's put together with kind of just like a, there's a name, for, there's a technical name for the stitch that you use to hold it together, but just very loose stitches. So if I want, I can undo the stitch and let it hang, but then I lose that beautiful long cuff. Um, I'm five, six, five, five and a half. I like to round up the number, so I'm five, six. Um, and I felt like it was just perfect. So it looked great with a flat heel, and it also looked great with my Bottega padded mules in that beautiful chocolate brown. I introduced those shoes because I wanted it to complement the chocolate brown on the shirt, and I think that everything does a great job together. But yes, in terms of the length of the pant, I think 
if I get the yellow, I might actually just get it in a, a tall. So if they have the tall option, I'll get the tall option. So that way I can wear them with my platforms or I can even wear them with just a higher heel. And I'd rather my pants just kind of grace the ground and we'll, we'll clean it afterwards. It just elongates the body and I just feel like it looks a little bit more flattering. Anywho, love the two together. Um, not something that I've done a lot of in the past, but I'm really loving that combination of that chocolate brown and blue, and I just love this pairing. Um, I also introduced my Fendi Nano bag, and I'm wearing it more so like jewelry uh, instead of a bag, and I kind of, you know, wearing it has a crossbody. The chocolate color of the bag does a great job of complementing the chocolate on the shirt as well as the shoe, so it's those little details that I'm using to kind of pull other elements into the outfit. And then for a bag, my favorite i'm doing my fendi um baguette i love this baguette in the sequence it's just absolutely stunning it is such a vibe like it's just such a showstopper but there's something about it that's somewhat casual too so i feel like you can easily dress it up you can dress it down but the sequence just you know it just lights up the room it literally lights up the room like when there's light and stuff it makes your face glow but yes i love this outfit guys it's just so fun so stunning um in addition to the bag and everything else. If I'm correct, I did my Fendi sunglasses as well. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. I can't remember. But the glasses complement the overall look and I'm here for it. It is a vibe. I also style these pants um, a different way on Instagram. So guys, that's another excuse to follow me on Instagram. So you can see all the different ways I take the pieces that I feature in the haul and I switch things up. But anywho, I love this outfit. It's so fun. It's such a vibe. It's such a like boss babe you know i'm enjoying this beautiful weather and i'm just taking it all in and not being bothered i look fabulous just the way i am and i love that um also too if it's too hot where you are and you still want to wear this look you don't have to button up all the way it's still it's warm in atlanta but it's not like super hot so it's ideal spring weather in my opinion so yes that's why and I'm, i kind of i love this buttoning all the way up i just feel like there's something about it that just looks so chic and i'm here for it but yes you can also do this look you know not buttoning all the way up even buttoning down maybe wearing a bralette under it um yeah and i just love the way everything looks together tucked in showing off the rise of the pants it's just a vibe love it. Honestly, I wasn't really going to do an H&M haul and then I don't know if it was an email or whatever it was or how I saw this blazer, but this blazer is why I did this haul. Like this blazer was everything. I'm like, I have to have it. It does come with matching pants, but when I, or when I found the blazer, the pants were not available yet. So I'm hoping that by the time this goes live, these pieces are still available. Um, but yeah, the pants weren't available, but I figured, you know what, I'm still going to get the blazer. I love it love love the blazer another piece from their conscious collection and it's just stunning um it's such a vibe love it anywho before we get into the blazer because i can go on and on and on about the blazer and how much i love it um i started this look with these zimmerman shorts i love these looks i shared these shorts in my latest kind of it was like a vlog luxury haul and these were one of the pieces that i picked up i also wore these shorts um for a collaboration that i did um on instagram and just amazing but yes you can check out that haul i'll have the thumbnail pop up so you guys know what i'm talking about but yes these shorts are everything i know they are they are very expensive for a pair of shorts but i feel like with certain things like this when you have this beautiful printed linen and the colors it just it was just calling my name and then when i got it and tried it on and the fit you know I love a good high-low look all day, every day, you know, so I feel I feel like you don't always have to spend a ton of money, but when you come across pieces that you absolutely love, especially pieces like this that you can wear over and over and over again, year after year, it's timeless, why not splurge? So, splurged on these fabulous shorts from Zimmerman, love, love, love them, get ready to see them, and this is one of those things where you're like, prepare to be sick of me, because like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get my cost for wear on these, like, Absolutely, 100%. But anywho, I wore the shorts with um, that Jonathan Sim Sim Jonathan Simkai. 
I hope I pronounced that right. Jonathan Simkai bralette. I got that I think last year. I know they still have it available. I think they, I'm not sure if they still have that taupe color that I have it in, but I know for sure they have a white option available. And of course I will link both for you guys. But yeah, started the look with that. And then I did my Versace platforms that I absolutely love and I'm so happy that I kept them. Um, you know, there's lilac, there's blue, there's a ton of colors on these shores. And when you have pieces like this that have a ton of colors, you can introduce so many different elements to the outfit to make it work and I'm here for that. So we did the Versace platforms, love, love, love. We did the Jonathan Simkai bralette, love it. It actually has good support, so I really like that. I got some bralettes from Zara and there's no support whatsoever, so it's nice to find a bralette that actually has good support and you have that with the Jonathan Simkai. It is a little pricey, I think it's like $200 or whatnot, I can't remember, but of course I'll link everything. Anywho, started the outfit that way. Then we brought in this blazer, which is absolutely stunning. I did the blazer in a medium because I wanted it to be oversized. I wanted the length, I wanted the fit, and it did not disappoint. It is so well made and it looks absolutely stunning. The fabric is not cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, it looks beautiful, the print is stunning, there's a subtlety to it. And even though these are two totally different prints, they do a great job of complementing each other, right? So this just goes to show that you can pair different prints from totally different prints, but if they're in the same color scheme, it, it can still work. So the two look great together. The shorts are pretty much almost the length of the blazer. I love it. I just feel like it is such a vibe. It just looks stunning. Stunning. So for a bag, I introduced my Chanel vanity bag. So people have been asking me what is the name of this Chanel bag. I did the unboxing. I shared it with you guys. It was also in that luxury haul with the Zimmerman shorts. Um, and I didn't ask for an A when I bought the bag. I just saw the bag and I was just like, damn, I need the bag. Um, and then when I was in Toronto, I did go to the Chanel boutique and I was carrying the bag. So I did ask because the questions were, you know, um, in the comment section of the last video. And the lady was like, oh, it's so new. I don't know the name. So I went, when I got back home, I got the receipt and whatever, and it says vanity case or vanity box. I, I think it's vanity case. So I guess it's part of their vanity box case, whatever bag collection, and it's just a newer silhouette. So, but I love the bag, guys. It's that blue again. It's the, the blue is driving me insane. Like, there's a Fendi sunshine tote in the same blue. And if you guys haven't seen my Fendi sunshine tote, breaking down the bag video, make sure you check it out. It's really good, especially if you have the bag, if you consider the bag. Anywho, but doing the research for that video, I found the blue one, and it's just, every time I see it, I'm just like, gosh, like, how do I justify this? And I've already gone over my two-bag for Kodo, so we're not even going to get into that, so I know I can't get it. And there's a Fendi first in that blue. There's there's so many bags. Oh, there, oh. Back to the outfit, because, yeah, I can go on forever talking about bags in blue. But yes, the blue bag looks great with this outfit. There's blue, that same blue on these shorts. And you have a little bit that a little bit of that here on the blazer with the lilac. So that is why I introduced the blue to the outfit. And it works. It works so well. I am here for it. Accessories, we're doing rings. I'm not even wearing my arm candy. I forgot. But you know what? All these outfits kind of work with, with, with or without the arm candy just because you have the longer sleeve. But we definitely did some fun rings. Um, a lot of Lagos um, rings. We've got some Judith Ripka, Cartier, and all that fun stuff. And this outfit is just a vibe. I, I love this look. Like, when an outfit gives you joy, this one gives me joy. If I'm correct, I did just my extra large gold hoops with the look. I didn't want to do too much. But I, ju I just love this outfit. It's everything. Now I'm going to go to the next one because I feel like there's just so many different elements in this outfit that will just get me going on and on and on. You guys know I love to talk, so we're going to go to the next look. But love it. On to the next. <music> Alright, so now we have that wedding guest look that I talked about in the beginning. Oh, this look is everything. First, this dress is just gorgeous. So, um, a PR company reached out, the brand reached out to me and they were like, you know, they would really like to send this um, dress to me. It's available on Revolve and all that fun stuff. And, you know, it is by a black designer. I think the name of the brand, if I'm correct, is Yaru. Yaru. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. But I was just like, absolutely, I'm going to support my fellow Nigerian designer doing big things and having her stuff um, right here at, in Revolve and a whole bunch of stores across the board here. Yara. Yara. I think, I hope I said that right. Yara. I hope I said that right. 
Anywho, I love this dress, guys. Like, the dress is a vibe. Oh, and this is not the only dress she sent to me. Oh, you know, I forgot to, you're gonna have to find, um, look, follow me on Instagram to see the other dress because it's stunning. I did the photo shoot in Toronto and I forgot to share it with you guys, but the dress is stunning. Like, when I tell you it's stunning, it's stunning. Anywho, this one, I love. Um, I feel like this is a great wedding guest dress. And depending on, like, a 40th birthday party or a birthday party in general, or just going to a very beautiful tropical location and you just want a fabulous dress that kind of, you know, flows in the wind. You have all these panels that just kind of flow. And it's just so beautiful. If you were going to wear it to more of a tropical location and maybe do dinner or whatnot, I would suggest flats. But in my head, I'm thinking wedding guest. So I dressed it up a little bit, but you guys know I like to be comfortable. So instead of doing a higher stiletto heel, which would also look absolutely stunning with this look, I decided to do my Manolo Blonics and that beautiful blush pink. They are mules and they are comfortable. They're not too high. I think it's about a two and a half inch heel which is a very comfortable height for me and it still allows the dress to just drag a little bit which I just feel like is very elegant and chic and then you've got that nice slit on the side so you can kind of do a little leg through which I love um the thing about this dress it's so strategically cut that you know even though two babies later stretch marks it lays perfectly so it lays right above right about the natural waist so you just have clean skin you know and then that that cut out it just runs through the back and you can still wear a bra no you can't wear a bra with it but you know it's still beautiful you can probably do the um, body tape and kind of just pull it to the back to or lift it up a little bit but I just love this dress I just feel like it's such a vibe it's so beautiful it's so sexy I love it I'm here for it if you were going out I would probably suggest um, wearing two-way tape so you don't have any you know accidents or whatnot but I, I'm obsessed like I am completely 100% obsessed with the dress I did a 12 UK they originally sent the dress to me in like a six or an eight I'm just like this is an extra extra small I'm like I can't fit into that but they reset the perfect sizes and they fit like a glove I love it I love this dress okay what else did we do I did these um statement like um, faux diamond earrings that I got from shop up a while ago I don't even know if they're still available if they are I will link them if not I will link something similar um, and then for a bag I just did my Chanel with that beautiful like iridescent lilac um, green all those different fun colors going on in the bag and I feel like it does a great job of complementing the lilac and the dress complementing a little hints of blush and then you've got the red you could also do a red bag with this look I've got my red Lady Dior that could still look fun with it but I feel like the Lady Dior is a little bit bigger maybe if I had the mini size I would have preferred it that way but I could still definitely do the red lady dior with this look and maybe like a pair of red pumps or a red strappy sandal something that's high and sexy to really complement the red and just the overall vibe of the outfit but i'm obsessed with this dress guys like it's a vibe it's everything like everything love it so the next look features this amazing jumpsuit from h&m that I love. It is wide, it is free, it is flowy, the fabric is amazing, and it's got pockets. You guys know I love pockets. But I love, this is so pretty guys, like it's absolutely stunning. So I originally was only going to style this two ways for Instagram, but I'm like, you know what, I gotta style it two ways for you guys here because it's just everything. Um, but I'm gonna go more in detail in the first look and then the second look, we'll just kind of run through it real quick. But so, I took this beautiful, very flowy, jumpsuit from H&M you have the strap in the back to kind of hold it together otherwise it'll kind of fall off your shoulders um, it's a little higher like the neckline is pretty decent in the front and then you've got the lower neckline in the back so you can't really wear a bra unless you have a bra that's a little bit lower that has a lower plunge um, it also comes with its own little thin belt but I was like you know what I don't like all these fun little belt thingies I do like the fact that this has a little gold detail I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the little gold detail on the um, the tip of the belt. But I was like, I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to let it hang. So that way it can just add a little bit of fun interest to the jumpsuit, and I love that. You also have that detail um, on the back with the back strings as well. But yes, so have the jumpsuit. I decided to put my um, new white on white Valentino belt. I love this belt. I'm obsessed with this belt. I got the belt in Toronto. Um, I think that vlog should be out. So if not, if it's out, I'll link it. Um, if not, I will 
update when I all when it comes out I'll update the, update the caption and I'll let you guys know in the community center but yes I added the belt to the jumpsuit to kind of singe the waist a little bit and just to give me a little bit more shape I don't mind getting lost in a dress like this and I'll share that look after it and those are the two different ways that I styled it but I wanted to singe the waist in a little bit with the belt and I'm here for it I love it um, and then we did shoes I did my white Chanel dad sandals they look absolutely stunning with the look the that vibrant sharp white of the shoes do a great job of complementing the white belt the belt also has tr it's also trimmed in like gold um, which you really don't see unless you come closer to the belt and then the shoes you know they have those gold um, coin kind of detail so the two do a great job of complementing each other and I'm here for it I love it love 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 it and then in terms of a bag I did my Chanel 19 in that beautiful yellow tweed I really felt like it would do a good job of complementing this yellow nude color that that just kind of runs throughout the dress and I'm here for it I just feel like this is such an elevated casual chic outfit and I, I adore it and you could also dress this up a little bit too you know you can still keep the belt maybe add a white pair of shoe or a pair of shoes <laughs> shoe <laughs> or you could do like a, a nude a beige kind of sandal would look absolutely stunning with this as well or something in gold too oh yeah that would look so good anywho you can do so much with this outfit I love like love 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 this look and if I'm correct, I did my um, Dior, I either did my Dior sunglasses with, with that beautiful yellow tint or those Fendi um, gold rim sunglasses. Clearly I'm obsessed with them because I keep on going back and forth between those two glasses. But love, love, love it this way. And then I decided to switch it up and like, okay, you know, say if I don't want to wear a belt and I just want to be casual, cool, and I want to go somewhere a bit more relaxed, but I still want to elevate the look, how would I style it? So I decided to lose the belt add this gorgeous Valentino bag that I also got in Toronto that I love. Wearing it has a crossbody to kind of narrow me a little, just a little bit and also kind of to add interest to the dress and a little bit of that gold. And then pair it with these new Valentino shoes. I love them in the Roman studs. I got the beige color last year and I was obsessed with them. I wore them all season long. I wore them to a wedding. I wore them to casual events. I, I wore them and I love them. So when I was in Toronto, I saw the bag and then I saw the shoes and I was just like, why not? You know, I wore the shoes over and over again. I got my cost per wear. They look great with jeans. They look great with so many things. I'm like, you know what? It was easy for me to justify getting them in a new color and I'm here for it. I love the yellow and I feel like it just elevates the jumpsuit, right? It just makes it look so cute, so interesting. And it adds that very chic, very rich vibe to the look and I'm here for it. I adore this outfit. I love it. Let me know which way, you know, you guys prefer. Would you do it kind of just hanging with the bag and the shoes or would you put the belt on it? Let me know with your comments below. Oh, before we jump to the next one, this was another piece that I picked up um, from H&M. It's a belted linen blend blazer. Um, I don't know, like, I, I, I didn't want to just, like, make an outfit just for making the outfit's sake. There was something about it that I didn't love. I don't know whether it was just so wrinkly off the bat or if it was the buttons, but the color, I still love the color. So if you need a good blazer, linen, long blazer, I'll, I'll still link it for you guys. I personally just didn't love this belt as much and I didn't love the way it looked with my Valentino belt or any other like rigid belt so that's why I just I didn't style it and I, I don't think I'm gonna keep it but if you still need a great blue oversized linen blazer linen blend great price point I think this is a good one so I'll definitely link it for you guys I just couldn't it just didn't move me enough for me to create an outfit with it nor for me to want to keep it so yeah but I, I figured I'd, I'd share it with you guys now let's go to the last outfit. All right, last but not least, we have this outfit that I'm wearing. Oh, I love, love this look. This shirt is, I'm keeping it. I, I love to just collect white shirts. If I haven't said that already before, I love to collect white shirts. When I find white shirts that are unique and different, best believe I'm adding it to my collection. And this shirt from Cost, everything. First of all, I just love the collar detail, the way it's just the lapels are just, mm beautiful and then can we have a moment for these wide arms like the sleeve everything it's got the thick cuff on the sleeve that I love it almost has like a crinkly linen kind of vibe to it so it doesn't have to be like starch you know that look when you starch your white shirts and it's just crisp and you know 
this is not that and I kind of like that because you know what I hate ironing but I love a, I either love a crisp look or I love that linen you know look where it's just it's meant to not be so posh but almost more relaxed and you kind of get that with this even though the silhouette is a little dressier the fabric itself has a slight crinkle to it and, I, and I'm here for it I have another shirt that I got from cost that has that same effect and I find that their shirts sell out real quick guys so if you love these shirts as much as I do I would highly suggest to jump on it like I was picking out so many different things from cost they were having a sale and I've never seen them have a sale again uh, before I think it was 30% off and they had the most beautiful orange pair of pants and they sold like they literally took them from my cart I was mad like I was just like I did the four it, it right as I went to check out I even got the notification that they charged my cart and then they then it was gone and then I went to the next size and it was gone I was just like I guess orange pants were meant to be anywho I digress the shirt love okay so the hem it kind of has a dip a curve and then you have a longer lip a longer hem at the back so we love it we, it's doing that high low business love 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 definitely a bit more relaxed in the fit and then I got these leather shorts <gasps> they're everything I got these leather shorts from cost as well and I have been on the hunt for leather shorts for years you know, a lot of the pairs that I've seen were just astronomically priced. Leather is usually very expensive. This is a beautiful lambskin leather, which I love. Actually, no, I wouldn't, no, it's not. I think it's lambskin. I would have to double check. It might be calfskin because it's a little thicker. Um, thicker. So I, I, I want to say it's thicker, but it's also, no, it's not lined. I have to double check that. But the leather feels like butter, so I'm going to assume that it's lambskin. It's just, it feels so good. It's like literally I'm rubbing my it feels so good anywho the shorts are nice and high in the rise they've got pleats in the front it looks great on the bum we love that like a perfect fit um if i'm correct i got this in a size four or six the right size will be running through i always kind of go between four and six so i want to say this is a six i could be wrong but i'll have the correct <laughs> the correct size but anywho love the shorts love 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 so we did two things with this look you can either kind of have it this way have it out like this or tucked in but what i did and which i show you guys is i took the hem of the shirt and just tucked it into my bra because i didn't want to tuck it in to the shorts and make it look too bulky so i kind of rolled it up and tucked it in under the um, under my bra but only really the tip so not too much so it wouldn't be too full on top and it would have a sleek, seamless look and then I just let the back kind of hang you can also just tuck it in all the way through or you know play around with it kind of do a crisscross or just let it just you know sit in the back and then have a, um, a puff a puff you know you tuck it in and it puffs over <laughs> anywho love the shirt love the shorts so then I introduced my shoes. I brought back those Valentinos that I love. I'm still wearing them. I can wear them all day. They're super comfortable, guys. They're, they're very expensive for flats. I'm like, gone were the days. Gone were the days. Y'all don't even want to know how much I used to sell this shit when I worked luxury retail. Like, it is just mind-boggling how expensive everything is and how everyone continues to consume, and myself included. But anywho the shoes, the bag, you know, this is your classic black and white look. And whenever I'm putting together a classic black and white outfit, I always want, especially during this time of the year, I'm always inclined to add color, to just add something a bit more unexpected. And the shoes and that beautiful yellow, the bag just adds that interest that we love. I also decided to just, just do um, a clean classic um, earring. These are from Lagos. I did a really amazing collaboration for Mother's Day with Lagos. You can check that out on my Instagram page and it's lovely, absolutely stunning. The pieces are gorgeous. And the brand um, gifted me a few pieces. So we did these earrings, which I feel like they, they're, they're gold and mother of pearl and they just complement the whole look and same with the rings and all the fun jewelry is it not everything you guys could <laughs> my excitement is real this is I, I couldn't even tell you where exactly I'm going to but I'm finding somewhere to wear this look I will definitely wear this look spring summer long my thing this summer season this season that we're in is to dress up every day even if I'm sitting on in, in this office at my desk just going to pick up my kids and coming back I'm dressing up I'm just saying, oh, we can get outside now, you know, fully vaccinated, booster, all of that. And we're traveling. So I'm like, you know what? Now more than ever is the time to dress up. It's the time to have fun, enjoy your fashion. And I'm here for it. But yes, this outfit is everything. It is everything. It's just a vibe. It looks great. It's stunning. It's elevated. You have all these pieces that just are perfect. I would wear this to dinner. 
I would definitely wear it to dinner. I would wear it to an event. Um, the possibilities are endless, so stay tuned. <laughs> prepare to be sick of me especially with these shorts but yes yeah, stay tuned i love this i love this outfit oh i did the fendi sunglasses so yes love the outfit it's a vibe love it All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my outfits. Those are my looks. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Um, let me know which item was your favorite with your comments below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to leave comments. I totally appreciate it. I read them all. I know I haven't been responding to all of them, but I promise you I do read them. Um, it's just taking me a little longer than normal. Hopefully, by the grace of God, I'll find help very soon. So that way I can tackle all these things and I can, you know, get up to date with everything. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, if you need style inspiration in between the hauls, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's on by Moni. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've been on Instagram since Instagram started. So, you know, it's been a, a fun journey, an in interesting journey. I was on Instagram when people used to grow authentically. Um, but now it's just, it's just all over the place. But anywho... Follow me on Instagram. I'm having fun with the reels and, you know, TikTok as well. So definitely being a little bit more creative um, in the space as well. Also, don't forget to check out my website, oddbymonica.com. Tons of style inspo. There's um, a YouTube hub there where you can actually see the items that I link and shop there. Or you can just watch the video on my website as well because all the videos are uploaded to the website. Um, also, you know, there's um, home decor inspo. There's beauty. There's a lot of everything. So just check it out. Get lost in, in there. Have fun. I invested a lot of money on my website, so please go indulge me. Have fun with it. Leave a comment on a on a, um, a blog post. But anywho, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing what your favorite outfits were and what your favorite items were. And yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.